I feel terrible about it. I still do. For what? For killing Eddie or for what you did to me? What are you talking about? I don't care about Eddie. Nobody does. I do. You know what it's like to see somebody die? Oh, now I'm supposed to feel sorry for you. Huh? No. No, no. You pick up a gun and you kill someone and you keep your mouth shut while I get arrested. You confessed! Yeah, to protect my mother. That's what I do not find you! Do not even. Your mom was long gone. You shot my father because you were angry and you let me take the blame because you're a coward. No, I was gonna come forward, but my uncle told me not to. Oh, now it's your uncle's fault. He didn't force you to keep quiet. You went along with it because you are a spoiled little rich kid who couldn't stand getting over being dumped. What did you think was gonna happen, huh? That I would go to jail and then you come crawling back Oh to my you? God, no! She would never do that! Because she knows what a loser you are. Soon enough, everyone else will too. Excuse me, you, you can't go in there. Yeah, we need to see Blanca Morales. Yeah, she's busy. You'll have to wait. They can't wait. You don't understand. She's broadcasting live. Her guest is about to ID Eddie Ford's killer. Where's that photo taken? 21st kid said. Hey, listen, try again. Relax. Hey, don't relax. The woman in that photo has already murdered one person, all right? There's a little boy with her, and he's in danger. So you're going to tell me what you know. You're going to be sharing a bunk with the fellas up in Statesville so fast will make your head spin. What's it going to be? I can't remember anything after I saw you, Brody. Well, well, let's try and figure it out then, okay? So sometime after you saw Brody, you called John and you left him a message saying it was urgent you see him. And you took Liam and you went over to John's apartment looking for him. And you didn't find him there, so you went up on the roof. Where I found Marty. Yeah, so somewhere in there the tape went missing. And I'm guessing you listened to the tape. Right, right, which would be why, why I wanted to see John. So. The tape might be the key to this whole thing. We find that tape, we find Marty. And Liam. Hey, I know where they are. Let's go. I'll bring Liam home. I promise. Just be careful. It's, oh, it's not how it sounds. Is that your kid? You, you don't understand. Explain it to me. Wes, Wes, I just need you to let this go. Marty, you know I can't do that. Not with an explanation. I mean, you can talk to me. Haven't I always had your back? I understand more than you think. I and mean, who knows? Maybe I might be on your side. It's just, I'm, I'm afraid. Of me? Now that if I explain things, you'll change and then you won't be my friend anymore. Never happen. I can't, I, I, uh, I can't have that. I can't lose you too. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't know what I do. Marnie, once we're friends, that's it. And you're never gonna lose me. Now tell me what's going on. Okay. Okay. But um, <laughs> will you promise that I get to keep the baby? Please, we just don't. Don't tell anyone about the baby. We did come, come to an understanding, and I have nothing more to say to you and John. But Jessica. Jessica really needs to hear me out. Wes. Wes, what's wrong? 